Hello friends, in this video I will explain you the important aspects of aquifer. First of all, what is aquifer? If you want to understand in crude terms, aquifers are nothing but underground water tanks, water storage tanks. So what your amount of water from comes from tube well, bore well, they are stored at some naturally occurring storage structure which is nothing but aquifer. There are many other terms related to aquifer such as aquitard, aquifuge, aqui fluid. So these are all theoretical aspects and there is nothing to explain about them. You can read about these all terms. These are important from examination point of view. You have to read and only remember that. In this video, I will explain about the confined aquifer or unconfined aquifer. Maybe this will take take to 1.2 also. In this 1.1 and 1.2, I will complete the confined and unconfined aquifer. I will take the important numerical questions related to that in previous year and also some other questions for practice. So this is me. What a got rank 1 in 2013 and completed my MTech from IIT Bharatpur. Here, let's begin with some theoretical aspects. What is confined aquifer and what is unconfined aquifer? Confined means as the term itself denotes, water is confined between the two strata under the ground surface. So water, the, the upper layer of water is not the free water surface. It has been confined. So, pressure is greater than the atmospheric pressure. So, when your water will come out, it will come out with some force because of that pressure. Why? In case of unconfined aquifer, water is not stored as in pressurized condition. The upper layer of water is free layer. Means, the pressure acting is equal to the atmospheric pressure. This is the main basic difference between these two types of aquifer. Also you can see here in this slide, in case of confined aquifer, water is confined between these two layers, while in case of unconfined, there is no upper layer inside. So the water surface is free surface. Here, whatever the atmospheric pressure, same pressure will be here, but here, this pressure will be greater than the atmospheric pressure. So in numerical, in theoretical type of question, they can ask you this statement. So please remember this. So this is the most important slide. If you are able to understand this slide, then you will be able to solve each and every question of the confined aquifer. So please pay attention. Suppose it is a confined aquifer, and inside aquifer, this is the what initial water surface this is the initial water surface this is a pumping well means you are using this well to to draw the water so this was the initial level of water now you started moving a water out so what will be the level of water it will definitely come down so in this this is called as observation well. So suppose in observation well 1, the water level is this. And in the second observation well, water level will be somewhere S2. Refer this as S1 and S2. These are known as drawdown. See, this is the level of water in observation well 1. This is known as H1 and this is H2. This H is known as the level of water which was before the pumping started. So this is the static water level. This R1 is the distance of observation well 1 from the center of pumping well. This R2 will be the distance for observation well 2. There may be n number of observation well or there may not be any observation well. I will take these two cases based on one two different numerical problems where you will be able to understand more clearly. So now you can see 
how we can write this x this x will be equal to s1 plus h1 or s2 plus h2 so now you need to remember the formula for discharge of confined aquifer which is 2 pi kb h minus s divided by r by r see here k is the hydraulic conductivity and b is the width of the aquifer in which h is the total saturated length of the aquifer the total saturated length and this h is the height of water in the pumping well now when you are using for main pumping well here this r denotes the area of this radius of influence what is this radius of influence see initially the water is at particular level now when you start pumping out this all water takes this one curve shape and some distance from this center that water gets influenced because of this pumping that's why it is known as the radius of influence and this r is the radius of this pumping well this k into b that have been given one different term that is known as the transmissibility sometimes in question they ask transmissibility so if you will see the term transmissibility then automatically you you can understand that they are the question is talking about the confined aquifer so now as i told you this is pumping well this is observation well one and this is observation well two so please keep this picture in your mind i will show you this numerical problem how you will apply this formula now whatever i said uh, same it is written here you can pause and study so if you see initially water level was this because of pumping it came like some conical shape so this total radius is known as the radius of influence so now pause the video and read this question i made this same diagram here so all the relevant you just write the formula and put this value so this is the formula what i told if it is h1 what is h1 this is the height of water in observation well 1 and this is the height of water in observation well 2 so here you have to write r1 and below r2 so now if you will read the question you will tell me sir the height of water in the observation well has not been given why you have put here that value so for that you have to do a little calculation like this as i showed you in the previous slide what you can write for this h total saturated height h1 plus h1 so now in place of a small h1 you can write h1 minus h so for, from both sides this h will get cancelled and you will get h1 minus h2 and this value of drawdown has been given in question so you put this value of drawdown this radius value has been given always so they are all the hydraulic conductivity or the properties of aquifer so from here i will not calculate you stay with the you sit with the calculator and give your value in the comment box if you, i think you are clear with the problem just write the formula all other information will be given in the question and just put the value and please be careful about the unit this 10 to the minus 2 has been written to convert that liter per minute into meter to per second and here also while writing the formula you write all the units side by side so that all the formula should be identical dimensionally there should be no error in the dimension otherwise entire calculation will go wrong now you see this question pause the video and read the question 
here there is no observation well here only one something is so what formula i will apply i will apply the formula what i told you earlier if observation well are there with h minus h will convert into h1 minus h2 you will take that for observation well and that will become the distance of that observation well from the pumping well but if there is no observation well you write this formula this h will become radius of influence because this pumping pumping well is influencing that much radius so now in this question all other uh, data are given 2 pi k value is been given 50 meters per day we change the unit according to the calculation and h minus h has been also given h minus h what we can write as drawdown and the value of drawdown is 3.5 that's what i have put here okay the radius of influence is 300 and this what is 0.15 here it is 30 cm diameter so be careful whether they have given radius or diameter people do lot of mistakes here they do not uh, read this diameter and directly put value 0.3 in during my preparation days also i used to commit such type of mistake so i want you people not to commit such silly mistakes otherwise you will go in negative marking okay so put this value 30 by 2 So convert that into meter because this 300 is in meter. So you so this value of radius should be in meter. So that's how you have to check the dimension. Here also I will not calculate the value of Q. You keep your calculator and which dimension you give the value of Q in comment section. So one this figure and second what I showed you earlier. This figure you keep in your mind, and this single formula only. If you are able to apply this carefully, then no question of confined equipment you will do wrong, because the questions will look big, data will look big, but the information, relevant information are less. You simply note down what are the information you need, and whether it is available in question or not. They will just Play around this drawdown, total height, and height in the observation well or the pumping well. So you need to understand these three concepts well. I hope this the concept of confined aquifer is clear. In next video 1.2, I will take the unconfined aquifer and some problem related to confined aquifer. If you have understood this, then confined aquifer, unconfined aquifer will not take much time. only the formula will change that's all so thank you thank you for watching this video have a nice day